Hey there movie fans, welcome to my DVD and Blu-ray update of uh, July 2012. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'd like to give uh, two shoutouts. Uh, the first one goes to Blake Thomas. Uh, he's pretty new on YouTube and uh, he has already uh, uploaded a few videos and one of them is about his um, Halloween collection. And uh, he always you know leaves very nice comments on my video so I thought you know why not do him a favor and give him a shout out uh, the link is below uh, of course and uh, you know go check him out go subscribe and give him a warm welcome to the movie community and the second youtuber uh, I'd like to give a shout out to is a person who has been gone for quite some time but Fortunately, he has returned and hopefully uh, he stays with us for good. Uh, I'm talking about Dave, aka God Horror. Uh, great guy, he has an incredible collection. Uh, he collects mostly horror movies. He also, has, he also has other movies, but his main love is horror movies. And um, yeah, Dave, if you're watching, great to have you back. And uh, don't go anywhere this time. Uh, but anyway, go check him out and um, and go subscribe. Uh, two fantastic uh, YouTubers, Blake Thomas and God Horror. Okay, and I'm going to show you um, you know my purchases. The first one is the only DVD that I bought, and that is uh, The Brute and the Beast, uh, also known as Massacre Time. This is one of the three. Westerns that was directed by Lucio Fulci and um, You know, it, it's not One of the best spaghetti Westerns that I've seen, but it's not one of the worst ones either It's you know kind of like in between it's 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 a mediocre Western if you ask me and I, I felt the same way about uh, four of the here There's four of the apocalypse uh, Which is another you know Fulci Western uh, I saw that it was decent. I haven't seen this one yet. He actually made three westerns in total, and this is the other one, Civil Saddle. Uh, haven't seen that one yet. But you know, it was decent. I kind of expected more from it, especially from a movie that is called Massacre Time. You know, you, you're you're expecting something like a horror western, but that's not really the case. Uh, it stars Frank and Nero. You know, the original Django. He al he's also going to be. Um, he has a small role in Tarantino's Django Unchained, and it also stars um, uh, George Hilton, this guy over here, who is very good in uh, overacting. He's so good at it that it's very annoying, to be honest with you. He was also in um, another western called um, A Bullet for Sandoval with uh, Ernest Borgnine. Uh, Borgnine plays the bad guy in that film, and I had more sympathy for him than for George Hilton's character. But anyway, you know, like I said, it's 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 a decent film, and this is a DVD released by Wild East. Um, it says a limited collector's edition, and that isn't a lie because each of these titles is limited to one thousand, and um, I also have some other. Spaghetti Western DVDs from Wild East. Uh, one of them is um, Day of Anger with uh, Lee Van Cleef, and that one is very hard to find, um, to my understanding. So I'm very glad to have that. But I'm, I'm glad to have this one as well, even though I, I expected more from it though. But um, yeah, nice release, The Brute and the Beast. Uh, by the way, this has two versions actually. Uh, the first one is the Euro English version, which is called Massacre Time, and the other one is the AIP dubbed version, uh, which is called The Brute and the Beast. You know, AIP kind of bought the rights and they rewrote the dialogue and redubbed it and you know released it as uh, The Brute and the Beast. So there you go. This is the only DVD that I got. Uh, next is the Spaghetti Western double feature, uh, which contains the Grand Duel, uh, aka the Big Showdown, not to be confused with the Big Gundown, which is another Western with Lee Van Cleef, and it also has Kioma. 
but I got this mainly for this one. I only have uh, Kiyoma twice actually on DVD. Very good um, western, but I've never seen this one before. And uh, this was very cheap. Uh, it was so cheap that I was afraid that the transfer would, you know, would be very bad. But it's not actually. It, it's it's actually quite good. It is not, you know, spectacular great transfers, but you know, for for westerns that came out in the early seventies, um, and this one came was mid seventies. It's definitely not bad at all, and um, this movie was was okay. It was uh, was very entertaining. I I was more entertained by this one than by uh, the Brute and the Beast, to be honest with you. Um, however, there are some um, you know some some mistakes in that. There is one scene that kind of bothered me. Uh, uh, you have a guy fired hit gun. Uh, his gun at uh, Van Cleef, and Van Cleef catch the bullet with his teeth. You don't, you don't actually see him catching that bullet, but you know the, you see a shot of the gun being fired, and then after that you see a close up of Van Cleef, and he opens his mouth, and you see the bullet between his teeth. I thought that was, uh, I th thought that was too silly, really. I mean, it, it works better in a kung fu movie, but not in a uh, spaghetti western, in my opinion. But it was okay, you know. It, it, it was uh, very entertaining, and um, you might recognize the music from the uh, the opening sequence of uh, the Grand Duel. It's one of the music that Tarantino used for Kill Bill Volume One. But um, yeah, this is a very nice Blu-ray release. You know, if you're a spaghetti western fan, and uh, you don't have these two movies in your collection, and you know, go check it out. It's, it's very cheap, like I said, and and the transfer is is pretty good. So there you go. Next is a French digi books of the Dollars trilogy. Uh, we started with this one. This is of course a fistful of dollars, the one that started it all really. Uh, it's it's not the first ever Italian western. I, I think many people. Think it is, but it's not. And, you know, Sergio, Sergio Leone didn't invent it, the spaghetti western. He reinvented it. But um, you know, interestingly enough, his um, his mother, who was uh, an actress, uh, she was one of the stars in the you know the first Italian western that that was ever made, and I believe that it was in somewhere in the 1930s. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, but a great film, a great uh, cult classic, you know, based on uh, Akira Kurosawa's Yojimbo. Even though Leone never actually, you know, bought the rights to uh, make a version of, of this, and uh, Kurosawa was of course uh, pissed off about that, and uh, he was, uh, um, you know, he wanted to sue them. But then they, they kind of made made a deal together, and uh, Kurosawa had the rights for the Japanese, um, you know, release of this film, and uh, also for for other uh, Eastern countries. And uh, also, an interesting fact is that in Japan, this movie was released as Return of Jojimbo. So that's quite fun to know. And these are very nice um, digi books. This is. Not really, you know, shorter than um, the Warner Brothers digi box, for example. This is, you know, kind of like, you can see comparison here. This is pretty much like the uh, you know, regular size Blu-ray. Put that on the other side there. Uh, the next one is, of course, uh, a for a few dollars more. Uh, excellent, excellent film. Um, even better than Fistful of Dollars, and uh, Fistful of Dollars was already a fantastic film. The music by Ennio Morricone, of course, is. Uh, I can listen to that every day. To be honest, fantastic music. Here is the maestro himself, Sergio Leone. 
Clint Eastwood. And here's the DVD. Oh, this is, uh, I haven't told you that, but you've probably already noticed it. It's, that's the Blu-ray over here, and the DVD on the other side. And the last one is, of course, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now, there's actually two, you know, different Sergio Leone fans. Uh, those who think that Once Upon a Time in the West is his best Western. And those who, oh, this is, uh, this is brilliant to see this one. I absolutely love this scene. Great, fantastic scene. Anyway, I, w I was, uh, sorry about that. I was talking about the two different, you know, Leone fans. One who prefer Once Upon a Time in the West and the other prefer uh, this movie, The Good and the Bad and the Ugly, as, you know, as the best, as Leone's best Western. Now, for those who knows me, um, knows that I'm part of the first group. However, the, f uh, the Good, the Bad and the Ugly comes close second. It is a fantastic film. And this is really one of those kind of films. I've, I've seen it many times and it never gets bored. It never gets bored. I don't know. You know, you're kind of wondering how that is possible. But uh, like I said, this is a brilliant scene. Definitely one of the best scenes in, in history, really. So these are very nice, uh, you know, digi books from France of the Dollars Trilogy. Next is a beautiful Korean steelbook of an excellent Korean movie called War of the Arrows. Uh, the story takes place somewhere in the 15th century, I believe. Uh, you know, I'm not I'm, I'm not very familiar with the um, with the with the history of uh, Korean battles, but this movie appears to be inspired by uh, true events, uh, and it concentrates uh, on. This uh, character, he's uh, you know the hero of the movie, um, and he's a very gifted archer who is uh, doing everything to find his sister, who's being kidnapped by these uh, you know evil kingdom, uh, North Korean kingdom, and um, there's a sequence in this film where he's being chased by a group of. Uh, professional archers and warriors and I thought that was uh, the best part of the entire film I mean the whole movie is great but that sequence is absolutely fantastic and uh, you know like I said this is the uh, Korean steel book let's take a look at the inside artwork there kind of like a, a drawing of uh, mounters there's also some drawing behind the disc as well as you can see here you know, nice artwork and this one has the DVD and also the uh, Blu-ray now the uh, theatrical version is on the Blu-ray and the DVD contains the director's cut which is a couple of minutes longer unfortunately uh, they only put it on DVD instead of a Blu-ray but uh, you know that's not really that big of a deal uh, but I've only seen the uh, theatrical cut I still need to watch the um, director's cut but fantastic film really is uh, War of the Arrows. Next up is the UK Stew Book of Total Recall. This is the um, the re-release. Of course, they've uh, released this in time before the new movie is coming out, you know, the remake. Um, I I actually saw some. Uh, you know, I saw the trailer of the remake. It looks pretty good actually, but. I really doubt that it's any better than the original version. I mean, Len Wiseman is definitely not Paul Verhoeven. Uh, I, I kind of considered Wiseman as a mediocre director. Uh, however, I've, I've already had this on uh, Blu-ray Steelbook, which is this one. This is the Dutch Steelbook. Uh, but I, I've compared you know, the, the two uh, Blu-ray editions uh, to see what the uh, difference are. And honestly, I don't see much difference, actually. I do have to say that this, the transfer of the first release, does seem slightly darker than, uh, than the new one. But um, that's basically the, the only difference that, I, that I've noticed, actually. But it's, it's 
you know, it had this, the new one has uh, a new interview with Paul Verhoeven, and that alone is worth the uh, double dipping or triple dipping, I should say, because I already have this on. Uh, I also have this on DVD. So, um, yeah, great film. And another interesting thing is the inside artwork. It also had a booklet, by the way. But the inside artwork is the same one as the Dutch one, only this one is in color, as you can see here. And the Dutch version is in black and white. So that's very interesting. The next two Blue A's are um, you know, two for 15 euros, and the first one is uh, Enter the Dragon. Uh, you know, Bruce Lee. This is probably Bruce Lee's most famous uh, movie. Um, yeah, fantastic film, isn't it? I I also hope that they're gonna release um, his other films on um, on Blu-ray as well. You know, the big boss, the way of the dragon, and um, Fist of Fury, which is my favorite Bruce Lee movie. I'm uh, pretty much looking forward to uh, to that, to watch in high high definition. Enter the Dragon, great film. And the other Blu-ray that I've bought is Last Man Standing. Uh, this is the second remake, actually, of um, Kurosawa's Yojimbo. The first one was, um, you know, Fistful of Dollars. And Bruce Willis plays, you know, kind of the same character like uh, Toshio Mifune did in uh, Yojimbo. And uh, Eastwood did in um, Fistful. Um, you know, it takes place in the, um, um, you know, during the, um, the, the, what do you call it again, the uh, prohibi Prohibition. Uh, you know, Bruce Willis, you know, arrives in this small Texan town uh, that's being ruled by two gangs, two rivalry gangs, actually. And, uh, well, you know how the story goes. If you've seen your Jimbo in First Fall of Dollars, you know, then you know what, what the story is. But this is an excellent film. I, I, w I would prefer, you know, Yo Jimbo and First Fall of Dollars, but still is an excellent film, uh, directed by Walter Hill. And um, some of the uh, violent scene reminded me of um, Pack and Paw in a way. I mean, the whole movie reminded me of Pack and Paw. You know, this scene where Bruce Willis is, you know, firing his two gu firing his two guns, and the guy gets hit, and he he, he get you know pushed backwards and in slow motion. That that's a very Pack and Paw moment there. But it's an excellent film, Last Man Standing. Uh, next up is another Bruce Willis film, and this is hands down uh, one of the greatest action movies of all time, The Last Boy Scout. I've seen it many, many, many times, um, and I, I still can't get enough of it. It's, it's so very well written by uh, Shane Black. He also he also did the first Lethal Weapon movies and um, momentarily he's directing the new Iron Man movie and Bruce Willis, I mean, he's at his best in this film. Uh, fantastic film, really is. Directed by Tony Scott. Oh, I loved it. Great, great film. It has some fantastic moments in it. Very violent also, but... Uh, yeah, fantastic film. The Last Boy Scout. Go watch it. And last but not least, uh, I have Barbarella, Queen of the Galaxy. Uh, this is a very nice release. It comes with the uh, you know with the slip cover. This is all embossed, as you can see. And this is embossed. And what's even more nice is it has some artwork on the inside. Which looks very cool. Now the only downer is uh, there are some damages on her boot and on some some of the rocks. There was a sticker on here, and I tried to get it off very slowly and very carefully, but uh, you know still has some damages, and I hate it when that happened. But uh, anyway, it's it's 
you know, th this is a truly, truly wonderful, uh, um, cheesy, campy, science fiction, cold classic. And uh, Jane Fonda, she looks hot back in the day. I mean, that opening sequence where she slowly, uh, you know, takes off her space suit. I mean, that's a classic scene. I don't care what the people say, that is a classic scene. I can watch that scene over and over again. I'm not a pervert, but, uh, hey. But anyway, um, yeah, nice release. Shame about the uh, damages, though, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad with it. Barbarella. And uh, that's it for my um, DVD and Blu-ray update of uh, July 2012. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.